have a dream That's all I need I'll make it happen with some work and belief The thing we're going to discuss is getting started So get started Yeah. So let's look up what is it technically? What's English ESL teacher? Teacher. So if you look it up, see, and each teacher educates students whose first language isn't English. So it's technically, if you are teaching students where their first language isn't English, you can be an ESL teacher. Most of the time, they teach English. Students pay them, and that's it. You have a lot of students here in the world that want uh, to learn English, so you don't have to do it at the school but you can also do it online and there's several ways how you can do it thing is when you're starting out as a ESL teacher there's a couple of things that you need to know there's a couple of things you need to know for example you need to know what you need to have as a teacher what qualifies you as a teacher and most of the time you can get a uh, certificate where you can learn most of the things that's necessary in the classroom but most of the time those certificates certificate are not meant for people that want to teach online so what I'm trying to say most of the time when you get a certificate ESL certificate it's most of the time meant for in the classroom yeah and when you're in the classroom there's a different vibe than when you are online most of the time when you're online if you're teaching in private you have one or two three students if you're teaching for ten or more it can be really difficult to teach those students and you need to ask yourself is it worth it teaching this much student online 10 students online think about it 10 students in zoom meeting and you are teaching it can be difficult but uh yeah it's possible but when you're getting started try to look at some course where you can get the basic understanding of the grammar the basic understanding of teaching because that's really important there are a lot of options out there I'm not going to advise you which one is better or whatever. Just make sure you follow one and make sure you understand the basic of teaching and make sure you understand the grammar. What I'm saying that is because sometimes when you have a student, they can have more problem than you know. And sometimes it's not only about the English, but you need to teach them or guide them or teach them and how to go the correct way and most of the time these courses will give you the proper way how to do that there are a lot of courses out there some of them are cheap some of them are uh, expensive expensive doesn't mean it's quality cheap doesn't mean it's not quality just think about what you need and which course suits you best but most of the time they are really cheap it can be like five fifty dollars sixty dollars or whatever and sometimes if you do not buy it today, you can buy it, um, let's say, a month later for a cheaper price. Because those companies have a lot of, the, um, how do you call it, um, sales. They have a lot of sales where you can um, get a cheaper price. So that's one way. And what you need to keep in mind is when you get the course, doesn't mean you cannot teach. You need to practice. You need to get students. But we will get into that. But get certificate so you can show people and think about who do you want to teach do you want to teach adults do you want to teach teenager or do you want to teach children children i can tell you it's difficult because most time it's hard for them to keep their attention on the camera especially online and we're talking online not talking in the classroom and teenager when you have teenager they know a lot of things but that's a problem they have a lot of times they can learn but that's a problem do they have the money to pay you? Most time the parents have, but sometimes they don't. That's something we will talk in later on in this video. Later on, I'll show you when you're looking for student what you need to do. And so we have children, teenagers, and adults. Adults, they are eager to learn, but most time they do not have the time to learn. So every group has a problem. Here is time. Here, most time they don't have the money. So, because um, dollar sign, money, and here, distracted. Because you cannot teach them longer than one hour. And most of the time, in between the classes, after 30 minutes, you need to give them some break so they can, um, so they can get again into the class. So, if you look at these three categories, it's difficult. And you need to learn how to 
deal with this but we will talk about this later in this video but for now when you have the certificate you need to think about okay i have the certificate what do i need to do right now so you need to plan out okay who's going to be my target group yeah? and how, what's going to be my setup at home how is it going to be so let's say you have a home setup you only have a computer what program are you going to use are you going to use zoom or are you going to use google classroom or google hangout google hangout for the classes and how many students do you want in your class let's say you have a student if you have three okay if you have five it's also okay yeah. and what about google classroom when you teach online if you have zoom two or more people you can only teach 40 minutes and that's a way around this after 30 minutes you can say to your students we're going to take a break and then we're going to continue in the next half of the break so five minutes break and hex half you give them a new link you get around the zoom link if you have more than two if it's one-on-one -on -one or private class you can just teach that and you can keep continuing you don't have the 40 minutes limit on the other hand google they have the 40 minutes they don't have the 40 minutes they have a 60 minutes and what you can do is the same thing when you arrive to 60 minutes you can say you're going to take a break and then we're going to give you a new link most time it doesn't matter if you have a small group but if you have a bigger group like three or five it can be a problem because when people sign up again most of the time it takes time for them to come in sometimes five minutes sometimes three minutes and it can waste your time by waiting for them or sometimes they cannot get into the class so that's something you need to consider but sometimes if you have enough soon like three or five you can afford a uh, zoom license so you can buy it or google license so it doesn't matter yeah but this is something you need to consider but if you are just starting out these are two things that you can start out for free yeah? and if you have three students in one class you put them in one class and teach them try not to go above three students because they can get difficult to keep their attention because if you are discussing something with one student it can not so can be distracted and because they're gonna be like yeah he has explained something to this person but not to me so keep that in mind so that's one thing yeah? and um, another thing when you set it up your camera it's important to have a good camera you can use your phone but if you're using your phone try to use an NDI and yeah you can buy the app from uh, new tech and what it does is it's connect your computer with your phone and then it can show your phone in zoom as an ndi and it's easy because your phone for example if you have a phone iphone or whatever it has a good camera you can use that camera to for the zoom with it. you can also use your webcam but keep in mind on the long run it's better to have good quality because then it show also the quality of your lesson i'm not saying good technology means good quality lesson but most of the time when the students look at the screen especially for one hour or a lot of hours during the week it's better for them to see quality than something that's really vague another thing that's important is your mic i'm not saying you need to get an expensive mic or whatever learn more about sound learn more how you can remove the the uh, noise where you can remove the noise and you have a good sound that is it's nice for students to keep listening to you and when you teach some students try to ask them to get a headphone because the audio of the computer doesn't isn't always right so keep that in mind and one thing i want to tell you when you're setting everything up try to make the setup with the cable so for example this is your computer and this is your internet do not do it with wi-fi but you do it with the cable because when there's something goes wrong with your internet when the wi-fi is weak it can affect your zoom call or whatever but when you have cable it's always stable because most time when you teach students english sometimes the internet is not good and you need to know what the cause is otherwise after a couple of classes students are going to be like okay you know what i don't want to follow you anymore so you need to make sure that on your end that everything is okay but if something is wrong on their end let them um, 
solve it if you know how to solve it explain to them how they can solve it yeah so the wife i try to do it with cable yeah K um, internet cable if you sign if you put your computer on and you connect to the internet try to do it with the cable not wi-fi yeah if your computer cannot if you cannot put the internet cable in your computer you can buy a usb hub and then you can put the internet cable in a usb hub and put it in your computer so it's all up to you yep so when you're starting out your setup is important your mic is important you can also buy a mic where you have a microphone here the closer it is to your mouth the better because that means less sound and in your computer try to adjust the volume of the mic it can reduce the um, noise if the mic is like this close to your mouth you can adjust the volume in the computer and when you adjust the volume it can reduce a lot of noise so you do not hear it now you hear the noise of the fan when i edit this video you do not hear the noise anymore but try to keep that in mind yeah so that's about it for the setup and when you're getting started the setup look at that and when you work from home there are a lot of videos out there where people explain on youtube for example how you should teach what you should teach the thing is those things are all great but at the end of the day you have you and the student you need to look okay what do they need and can you provide that what do they need for example if they need grammar lesson can you provide grammar lessons if they need conversation lesson like speaking lesson can you provide that and sometimes you cannot provide it then you'll be honest with them i cannot provide that just tell them that yeah just look at what do they need when you talk with the student for the first time with private of three hours student, check what they need when you know what they need you know if you can provide it or not if you can provide it you're good if you cannot provide it just tell them hey i cannot provide that yeah so keep that in mind and make sure when you're teaching the language english that you can speak it well i'm not saying you need to speak it perfect because most people are aiming to be perfect while when they learn english they learn some pronunciation it's sometimes difficult to understand them and they think that's perfect so what i'm trying to say is try to give them what they need do not you can go for making something perfect but it doesn't help you in the long run try to learn how they can i'm not telling you how to teach something but try to teach them things that they can use today otherwise things that they can use only tomorrow will not be excited for today keep that in mind especially with children so if you use something if you teach them something teach something that they can look up for example let's say we have an outlet and you teach them the word outlet and tell them hey can you look at your house and show me an outlet they can show you the camera and show you in the house an outlet and how to unplug it and um, plug it in so try to teach them something that's close to them that's the easy way for them to learn yeah keep that in mind so these are my things when you're getting started so when you're getting started your setup is important so what program are you going to use and your internet cable and wi-fi all those things need to be good connected make sure you have a good cam quality it's not depends on the, uh, the, the device that you have but it depends what you can provide but if you have a good video or good um, presentation it can help you a lot so the setup is important what also important is you need to get your certificates and things that you need in order to um, teach english and now we're gonna look at some points that's really important i have a dream that's all i need i'll make it happen with some work and belief know what i want so i'll take it on i'll make mistakes but mistakes make you strong let's break it down for a minute i want the crown i'm gonna get it you hear me loud man i'm winning yeah charlie sheen will be